I'd like to um, welcome all my dearest students of class 8, 8E and F6. Uh, <coughs> okay, now without any delay, let's begin today's session. Now I'm going to ask the last one. Only two three questions are left. Today we'll do these three questions. These are very important long questions as well. An important long question are very important. I'm going to ask the last one. यो टीवी शेड सब में गाड़ी का थीम यही बड़ा है मैं शुरू करता हूँ ओके इस दिस इज़ द टेन नंबर क्वेश्चन एंड इन टेन नंबर सेकंड आई देर इज़ द फाइंड द बिल अमाउंट टू बाय द फॉलोइंग थिंग्स आह द फर्स्ट आइटम ए बी सेट एंड द टीवी सेट इज़ हियर एंड मार्क द प्राइस ऑफ़ द टीवी सेट इज़ रुपीस � uh, after this max price of TV set, here is discount given, and discount person is given 11 percent. 11 percent discount given on TV set, 11 percent discount, and that um, person is 13 percent on TV, 13 percent that is added. Okay, now this question is a question. So, please understand one question. If you understand one question solution. You can do all other questions yourself. Here is solution. Mark price of TV set MP of TV set is equal to rupees twenty two thousand one. It's given to us. Now and then discount is given eleven percent. It is also given to us. Discount amount. What is the formula of discount amount? Anyone can you tell me what is the formula of discount amount when MP and discount are given? Discount, discount percent, percent of MP. Discount percent of MP. So MP. here is 11 percent, 11 percent of 22,500 rupees. 11 percent means 11 upon 100. 11 percent, how many percent? I mean, fraction of convert We divide by it by 100. 11 divided by 100. Up means multiply 22,500 remains the same 22,500. Now these two zeros of 100 and these two zeros of 22,500 cancel out. Then if we multiply 225 with 11, we'll get 2,475. This is the discount amount to us. Okay, this is the discount amount to us. Then price after discount, actual price. Price after discount is MP minus discount. We know this formula. Mark the price minus discount. Mark the price is 22,500. Minus discount is 2,475. The value will be to 20,025 rupees. 20,025 rupees. Again, that is 13% given to us. That is 13% given to us. Then that amount equal to bad person of bad person of price after discount. Bad person of price after discount. Bad person is third person. 13% means 13 divided by 100. If we change the percent in fraction, we'll divide it by 100. So 13 divided by 100, up means multiply. Up means multiply. Price after discount we have got here 20,025. 20,025 is here. Then after uh, multiplying this and this, we'll get, okay, we'll get rupees 2,603.25. Rupees two thousand six hundred three point two five is rupees here. Then SP with that we are going to calculate SP with that. This is the bill we have to pay to buy the article. I'm not going to say man kinda kiri. Pay gaono par ne bill bani ko SP with that. Then we got SP plus that. SP is twenty thousand twenty five rupees and that is two thousand six hundred three rupees twenty five paisa and total is. 22,628 rupees 25 percent. This is our final answer, dear students. Okay. Did you understand how we found its solution? Kasari Bana Sagunsa? Kasari Bana Anyone? Let me talk to Sirjana Bika. Sirjana Bika? Okay, what we did, please ask me.
20,000, 20, 25, yes, okay. One is one is teacher. Okay. Twenty thousand. Thousand. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jana. You have to exactly correct. That is the final answer. Okay. Now next one next one is 10 number 10 number question number third that is mobile phone mobile phones uh, mp mark the price of the mobile phone is given 6800 rupees and discount is given 14 percent and that is given 13 percent okay let me explain it my okay here mp of the mobile phone mark the price of the mobile phone phone is rupees 1800 then discount first of all discount discount is given on the marked price so discount is 14 percent 14 percent is the discount person then discount amount equal to 14 percent of mp 14 percent of mp mp means 6800 i have not written formula here okay when you have formula like you sign up i'm looking at the different discount amount equal to 14 percent of 6800 14 percent means if we are going to convert the person into fraction it will be 14 upon 100 14 upon 100 off means multiply this off means multiply 6800 remains the same it is 6800 as it is then after multiplying and uh, dividing the two zeros will be cancelled out then 14 into 68 will be 952 rupees this 952 rupees is our discount amount then then we are going to calculate <coughs> price after discount price per discount means mp minus discount amount mp is given 6800 this is 6800 6800 here minus discount we have got 952 rupees this is discount minus 952 rupees then after uh, subtracting 6800 minus 952 we got 5848 rupees this is the price after discount this is the price after discount Discount got is a good particular price at the Now, now if we should add that our family bad advert now that amount is equal to 13 percent of what person of price after discount yeah j i was at this echo price after discount to 13 percent so 13 percent of price after discount that is 13 percent means we if we change the person into fraction it will be 13 divided by 100 again 14 divided by 100 off means multiply price after discount is 5848 rupees then after multiplying and dividing we'll get 760 rupees 20 copaisa it's like this line multiply or divide your money 760 rupees 24 paisa out of that amount now sp with that is equal to sp plus that amount sp means price after discount okay price after discount was uh 5848 rupees 5848 rupees is here sorry okay 5848 rupees plus that we have got 760 rupees for paisa plus 760.20 after adding 5848 plus 760.24 we got 6608 rupees 24 this is the sp with that this is the sp with that amount the sp with that amount is 6608 rupees 24 okay this was also exactly like the previous one now let me share you another screen of Matabal Ali Fatafat Gardechu. Last question of this question number 10. <coughs> Here is a computer set in question number 10. The cost of the MP of the computer set is rupees 10,500. This is the marked price of the computer. Then discount is given 13%. 13% discount is given on MP. 
now here mp of the computer set mp mark price of the computer set is rupees 10500 it is given to us in question then discount is given 14% on computer so discount is 13% then how much discount is given discount amount equal to 13% of that mp 13% of mp is 10500 so 13% 13% of 10000 and 500 rupees then 13% of means 13% means 13 by 100. If we change the percent into fraction, we should divide by 100. By 100, of means multiply. 10,500 remains the same. 10,500 is as it is. 10,500. Then uh, then two zeros of 10,500 and two zeros of 100 will be cancelled out here. Then remaining term we multiply and we'll get 1,365 rupees. This is the discount amount we have got. Okay, then we should find price after discount. Price after discount will be MP minus discount amount. MP of the article, MP of the computer is rupees ten thousand five hundred. So ten thousand five hundred minus discount is given one thousand. Discount we have calculated one thousand three hundred and sixty-five rupees. So ten thousand five hundred minus one thousand three hundred and sixty-five rupees. 10500 minus 1365 will be rupees 9135 this is the price of the discount first of all we should calculate discount amount then we should calculate price after discount now after calculating the price after discount we should calculate vat amount now let's see about the vat amount again that person equal to 13% it is given to us in coin here 13% then vat amount is equal to 13% of price after discount 13% of price after discount means 13% means 13 by 100 13% means 13 by 100 then of means multiply but after discount we have got 9000 here 9135 so here is price 13% of price after discount 13% of 9135 after multiplying 9135 and 13 by dividing 100 We will get one thousand one hundred eighty-seven rupees fifty-five paisa. One thousand one hundred eighty-seven rupees fifty-five paisa. We put here now. SP with bat is equal to SP plus bat amount. SP plus bat amount. SP we have got nine thousand one hundred thirty-five rupees plus bat amount. We have got recently one thousand one hundred eighty-seven. 1187.55 after adding 9135 rupees plus 1187.55 we got to be 10322 rupees 55 paisa this is our final answer sp with pat we have completed all the question of question number 10 now let me talk to one student let me talk to one student on the other hand hand raise got no back with you Who was his raising hand? I forgot the name. Mm. Still, the students are coming. Please be present on time. Today, let me talk to Promisa Regmi. Promisa Regmi, can you unmute you? Yes, sir. Promise, sir. Did you understand how we found the solution? How we found the SP with that? Yes, sir. Okay, please explain me. And first, we have MP of computer is equal to ten thousand five hundred. So discount amount, discount portion is equal to thirteen percent. So we need to find this discount amount. Discount formula is thirteen percent of MP. Thirteen percent is thirteen percent into. Ten thousand five hundred five hundred. We get the answer one thousand three hundred sixty five. Okay. Plus, then plus after discount is equal to MP minus discount. Then rupees ten thousand minus rupees one thousand six hundred sixty five. We get the answer nine thousand one hundred thirty five. 
And then we need to find back the amount. What we got here? Then we need to find the amount. What is this? Okay. Then we need to find the amount. The fraction is equal to thirteen percent. So for the that amount, we need the that percent of plus after discount. Then thirteen by hundred into rupees nine hundred one nine thousand one hundred thirty five. Then we get the answer one thousand one hundred eighty seven point fifty five. Now as we get equal to as we plus that, then rupees nine hundred nine thousand one hundred thirty. Plus one thousand one hundred eighty-seven point fifty-five is equal to get the answer ten thousand three hundred thirty-two point fifty-five. Ten thousand three hundred twenty-two point five. This is the final answer. Thank you, Pramisha. Thank you very much. We have told correctly. I mean, yes, sorry, you asked me with that final one. Thank you. Okay, now let's begin question number eleven. तीन वो क्वेश्चन अब इलेवेन टुवेल्व एंड थर्टीन देन विल फिनिश होल एक्सरसाइज जो अलग एक्सरसाइज थी इसमें धेरे क्वेशन थे अलग कम्प्लिकेटेड लंग एंड क्वेश्चन एंसर लिटिल विथ लंग टाइम एंड वन मोर थिंग इज वी हेव ओनली वन क्लास इन द विक एटा मात्र क्लास सो इट अल्सो टेक्स लिटिल विथ लंगर टाइम ओके नाउ द क्वेश्चन इलेवेन तब को बुक में क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन हेन मैं लेखे तैं लेखे अलग फरक होगा लैंग्वेज मैं नेपाली भर्सन इंग्लिश में ट्रांसलेट कर तब को बुक में इंग्लिश भर्सन में होगा तब बुझा हो बट द क्वेश्चन इज सेम क्वेश्चन सेम हो ना हाउ मच सुड बी पेड टू क्लि द बिल हे हाउ मच सुड बी पेड टू क्लि द बिल वेन थ्री पर्सेंट डिस्काउंट इज गिवन वेन थ्री पर्सेंट डिस्काउंट इज गिवन एंड थर्टीन पर्सेंट बैट इज एडेड थ्री पर्सेंट डिस्काउंट दी सके को प्राइस में प्राइस अफ डिस्काउंट में थर्टीन पर्सेंट भैट एड कर इफ द अमाउंट इन द बिल इज रुपीज वन थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड बिल में वन थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड छ बट तो बिल अनुसार हमें लेख् पर्ने हो कि बिल में वन थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड में थ्री पर्सेंट डिस्काउंट इज गिवन डिस्काउंट दिशा थ्री पर्सेंट अभी भैट फिर कति पर्सेंट एड कर थ्री पर्सेंट एड कर हाउ मच सुड बी पेड टू क्लि द बिल हाउ मच सुड बी पेड टू क्लि द बिल अब यह बिल क्लि कर कति तीर्न पर्च भुड फाइंड द डिस्क अमाउंट विथ भैट एसपी विथ भैट भाई जस्ते अमाउंट विथ भैट वी आर गोइंग टू क्याकुलेट नाउ लेट इज सोलूसन माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स हियर अमाउंट इन द बिल इज रुपीज सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड स हंड्रेड वन थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड दिस इज द अमाउंट इन द बिल देन इन दिस अमाउंट इट इज लाइक एमपी यो एमपी जस्ते हो हाई फिर अरुण बिल भाई बीत कन्फ्यूज न हो दिस इज द अमाउंट इन द बिल एंड अमाउंट इन द बिल इन द अमाउंट इन बिल थ्री पर्सेंट डिस्काउंट इज गिवन देन यू कैन दिस इज द एमपी एमपी जस्ते हो देन डिस्काउंट इज थ्री पर्सेंट देन व्हाट विल बी द डिस्काउंट अमाउंट डिस्काउंट अमाउंट फर्मुला इज डिस्काउंट अमाउंट इज इक्वल टू डिस्काउंट पर्सेंट अफ एमपी देन डिस्काउंट पर्सेंट इज थ्री पर्सेंट Of MP is one thousand six hundred, isn't it? Like that, this is how. So three percent of one thousand six hundred. Three percent means three divided by hundred. It is three percent three divided by hundred. Of means multiply one thousand six hundred remains the same one thousand six hundred. Then two zeros. These two zeros will be cancelled out. Then sixteen multiply three rupees forty eight will be the discount amount. Forty-eight will be the discount amount. Now, amount after discount. Our discount got us okay. Pachi ko price kati baata. Amount in the bill minus discount. Amount in the bill was sixteen hundred, one thousand six hundred minus discount. We have got forty-eight rupees minus forty-eight rupees. Then one thousand six hundred minus forty-eight rupees will be one thousand five hundred and fifty-two rupees. One thousand five hundred and fifty-two rupees will be the amount after discount. Then again, it is. No, you told that bat is thirteen percent. It is given that bat is thirteen percent. Then bat is thirteen percent of amount after discount. Thirteen percent means thirteen divided by hundred. And amount after discount we have got here one thousand five hundred and fifty-two. Now after multiplying thirteen and one thousand five hundred fifty-two and dividing by hundred, we will get rupees two hundred one point seven six. This two hundred one point seven six rupees is the bad amount. 
देन अमाउंट विथ भैट अब भैट सहित को प्राइस क्या भाई तो अमाउंट विथ भैट मीन्स अमाउंट आफ्टर डिस्काउंट प्लस भैट अमाउंट अमाउंट आफ्टर डिस्काउंट वी हेव वन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड फिफ्टी टू वन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड फिफ्टी टू एम एल एसपी लिखे कन्फ्यूज भर एसपी होने ये अमाउंट आफ्टर डिस्काउंट हो अमाउंट आफ्टर डिस्काउंट प्लस भैट इज टू हंड्रेड वन रुपीज सेवेंटी सिक्स पैसा Then after adding one thousand five hundred fifty two plus two hundred one point seventy six, we got one thousand seven hundred fifty three rupees seventy six paisa. One thousand seven hundred fifty three rupees seventy six paisa. This is the amount to be paid to clear bill. You amount say this is the amount to be paid to clear the bill. Bill clear gone. Okay, like any amount you have. Okay, hence we got the solution. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Solution find out. Okay, let me talk to one student. Ujjal Khadka. उज्जल खड़का कैन यू अनम्यूट उज्जल खड़का अनमोल अधिकारी अनमोल अधिकारी कैन यू अनम्यूट प्लीज स्पीक टू मी Subhashish Gautam Subhashish Gautam can you speak Apeksha Tilwal Apeksha can you speak Let me to Nilam Roka Nilam Roka Yes sir Nilam Roka Who is speaking yes, sir. Okay, Nilam. Did you understand how we found the solution of this question number eleven? Sir, you can explain the solution of question number eleven. Yes, sir. Okay, what we did? Please go on. In the bill is rupees uh, one thousand six hundred and discount is given three percent. And to find the discount amount, we know the formula. Discount we have go to on, give in MP. We have to we have to give one thousand six hundred and three by hundred into one thousand six hundred by simplifying it. We will get rupees forty eight. And SP we know that SP is equals to the um, mp minus discount uh, amount after discount uh, is equals to amount in bill by discount in amount in bill we have uh, the rupees 1600 minus discount we have get so by subtracting it we will get rupees 1552 now that is given uh, 13% and to find vat amount we have to use the formula vat percent of sp and 13% of uh, Thirteen percent of rupees one thousand five fifty two. Thirteen by and we have to do uh, for thirteen by hundred into rupees one thousand five hundred fifty two by simplifying it. We will get rupees uh, two hundred six. Now amount with VAT is equal to SP plus VAT and SP is rupees one thousand five hundred fifty two plus VAT is uh, two thousand two hundred one point seven six. By adding it, we will get one thousand seven hundred fifty three point seven six. Wow, very good. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Nilam. <coughs> you have understood very well. Thank you. Okay, now let me share you another. 12 number question how much should be paid to clear the bill the question said that how much should be paid to clear the bill people six people there are six people clear the bill of six people with 200 per head ek jana ko chai 200 rupees cha bill ma and 8% discount is given 8% discount is given and 13% vat is added look here how much should be paid to clear the bill of six people chha jana manche chan euta ko bill ma 600 rupees cha sorry 200 rupees cha If eight percent discount is given, discount percent is eight percent. So the percent bad is added. Look here, amount in the bill per head. If the number of bill cut is rupees two hundred, the number of people six. Number of people is six. Then amount to be paid in the bill. Bill ma bako total amount di bata one thousand two hundred. If one thousand two hundred rupees six jana sa bai. The six to the twelve hundred that is one thousand two hundred rupees the total. Now this is the total amount. 
Then discount percent is given eight percent. Discount percent here is given eight percent. Then discount amount is equal to discount of MP. MP once family, but here is the amount in the bill. Now eight percent of amount in the bill is one thousand two hundred in total. One thousand two hundred total is the amount in the bill. Eight percent of one thousand two hundred eight divided by hundred into one thousand two hundred after uh, cancelling. These two zeros. After cancelling these two zeros, we'll get uh, ninety-six rupees. After cancelling these two zeros, we'll get ninety-six rupees discount. Then amount after discount. Amount after discount is the previously the amount was one thousand two hundred and uh, discount is ninety-six rupees. Then one thousand two hundred minus ninety-six will be one thousand one hundred and four rupees. One thousand one hundred and four rupees will be the amount after discount. Then again, then again, VAT is given thirteen percent. VAT is given thirteen percent. Then we are going to calculate VAT amount. VAT amount is equal to thirteen percent of one one zero four. Thirteen percent of one one zero four means thirteen means thirteen divide thirteen percent means thirteen divide by hundred. Half means multiply. One one zero four remains the same. Then after multiplying thirty and one one zero four, the value will be one hundred forty three point five two. This is the one hundred forty three point five two VAT amount. Then total amount with VAT to be paid. Total amount with VAT is one thousand one hundred four rupees. This is the amount after discount one thousand one hundred four rupees plus VAT amount is one hundred forty three point five two. VAT amount is one hundred forty three point five two. After adding this one hundred forty three point five two and one thousand one hundred and zero four, we'll get rupees one thousand two hundred forty seven point five two. This total amount is to be paid to clear the bill of six people. This is one thousand two hundred forty seven rupees fifty two paisa should be paid to clear the bill of six people. Now let's uh, let me share you last question of this exercise. I have done all the questions. You also do all these questions again yourself. Don't see uh, on uh, that uh, on the Google Classroom. My Google Classroom I write the questions, but don't see and do yourself. I think God knows. Let's submit it. Now thirteen question. And if MP of cycle is rupees four thousand five hundred five hundred cycle MP four thousand five hundred rupees, how much should be paid with thirteen percent discount? How much should be paid with thirteen percent discount and thirteen percent VAT? If thirteen percent VAT is levied, if thirteen percent VAT is added after the price after discount in the price after discount, then how much should be paid to buy the cycle? Actually, the MP of the cycle is repeat four thousand nine five hundred. Okay, now let me show you. Them. Here, MP of the cycle, market price of the cycle, MP of the cycle is repeat four thousand nine five hundred. This is given to us. Then discount is given thirteen percent to us. Thirteen percent is the discount percent. Then discount amount is discount percent of MP. Here, the thirteen percent is given. Thirteen percent of MP is given four thousand five hundred. Thirteen percent of four thousand five hundred. Then after uh, calculating this, thirteen percent will be thirteen by hundred. Half means multiply. Four thousand five hundred will remain the same. Then two zeros of four thousand five hundred and two zeros of hundred will be cancelled out. Then after multiplying thirteen and forty five, we will get rupees five hundred and eighty five rupees. This five hundred eighty five rupees is discount amount. Now, after getting the discount amount, we should find the price after discount amount after discount price after discount. Then price after discount is MP minus discount. MP means market price. It is given four thousand five hundred to us. This is four thousand five hundred minus remains the same minus discount amount. We have got five hundred eighty five rupees minus five hundred and eighty five rupees. After subtracting this five hundred eighty five from forty five hundred, we'll get to be three thousand nine hundred and fifteen rupees. This three thousand nine hundred and fifteen rupees is the amount of discount price after discount. Then again, that is given thirteen percent. Again, that is given thirteen percent to us. Then that amount is equal to thirteen percent of amount after discount. Thirteen percent of amount after discount. It will be thirteen percent will be will seem be changed into thirteen by hundred. Percent will be changed into fraction. Then thirteen by hundred. Half means multiply. Amount after discount is three thousand nine hundred and fifteen. Three thousand nine hundred and fifteen. Then 
uh, will multiply 13 and 3915 and will divide it by 100 the value will be 508 rupees 95 paisa 508 rupees 95 paisa then amount with bat sp with bat is equal to s plus bat amount sp is given 3915 this is the sp 3915 rupees that is equal to rupees 508.95 we have got recently 508.95 after adding 3915 rupees then 508 plus 9.95 will get to be 4423.95 this is the sp with that this is the SP with that, my dear students. We have less than three minutes. Now, without any delay, I'm going to share you.